Did hunger protests open the presidential door in 2027? For Atiku. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in this morning. Well, it's a question we have for you this morning. The question is, did the hunger protest open the presidential door in 2027 for Atiku? Well, under this, we have that as the doors gradually settles from the much advertised nationwide hunger protest, which was held from August 1st to 10, a former presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, will now more than ever fancy his chance of winning the presidential election come 2027. The nationwide protest which turned violent on the very first day and resulted in loss of life and property when angry Nigerian took to the streets, it perceives in many quarters to be an indicator of current President Bola Tinubu winning popularity but about the politics he implemented immediately after he took office. Well, the existential against of many nigerians who say the police are unfavorable and that the cost of living have skyrocketed has therefore thrust article a a perennial presidential candidate into the reckoning and because there is now an open door to opportunity that could usher him into the presidency in 2027 the worrisome adamawa who returned 78 in november will be expected to walk through it with great pain well Although a political scientist, Moyo Jaji, thinks otherwise, in his view, the protest did not open the door for the presidency in 2027 for Atiku. Jaji said, if anything at all, I can tell you that the protest did not change anything or open door for Atiku. Because what the protesters are saying is what is known to everybody. Ab- uh, is what is known to everybody but the fact still remains that what president Tinubu is trying to do is to tackle nigeria's problem head on head on unlike other president before him jaji also said that Tinubu sincerely wants to improve nigeria's condition and so on no door could have been opened for article he ended it by saying that the challenges nigeria is facing right now are as a result of years of bad governance which did not start today well at the start of the Fourth Republic, Atiku was Nigeria's f- f- vice president from 1999 to 2007. He was a deputy to former president Uluchegu Obasanjo. However, before the expiration of the Ateno, the relationship between the two men had gone sour. Many key politi- political observers have often insisted that the disintegration of Obasanjo and Atiku political union was due pre- um, preliminary to the letter not wanting to key into alleged plot by some National Assembly lawmakers to tinker with the constitution and make Obasanjo a three-term president. Well, the ambitious article did not recover from the fallout with Obasanjo and the unnecessary bad blood between them would eventually become his about three years and notwithstanding his status as the next in line to become president. He was not anointed by his then boss to become the commander in chief Atiku, who would later sojourn in the then opposition party, the Action Congress of Nigeria, which metamorphosed into the All Progressive Congress, later pinched tent finally in 2017 with the PDP, the main opposition party right now. Notwithstanding, since his storied cross carpeting, he, he has been struggling to win the presidential race. In the past three decades, too, Atiku had, has run built un- unsuccessfully for Nigeria's highest political office and even through on three separate occasions, he failed to win his party's presidential primary ticket in February 25, 2023 poll was his sixth attempt at the presidency. Nigerians are better informed right now. They know that Tinubu is performing and will w- win re-election in 2027. This is why no matter what Atiku says or does, he will come up short in 2027. As for the Northerners who carried Russian flags, they will vote for the EPC in 2027. Despite falling short of victory last year, the presidential election was a reminder of how close Atiku usually got to winning. However, like the proverbial cat with nine lives, he has vowed to soldier on with his march to a seemingly exclusive Asurok villa. Only a few months ago, Atiku was asked whether he would throw his hat into the ring in the 2027 presidential election race, and he did always, um, and he did, and he always, in death blue in his pursuit of the presidency, answered, "God willing." Atiku, who um, equates his own 
his own run for president with that of former United States President Abraham Lincoln, who who vised six times for political office before he became president on the seventh attempt, added that he was a good to go as long as God gives me the strength, good health, and long life. It seems Lady Locke is now smiling on Atiku. He has been growing more influential by the day, and his attitude to the hunger protests have lent um, credence to this. Atiku was on the side of the protesters and championed their cause. He was hand he was head hand to remind distant Nigerians that the constitution grants them the right to engage in peaceful protests. With riots broke out in some part of the country and security agents were constrained to use force of, a of restoring law and order. Atiku was also quick to jog the memory of service chiefs and other security commanders about life after service. I wish to convey them caution the distinguished service chief and military commander of Nigeria Armed Force those who authorize the use of lethal force against the peaceful civil civilian protesters will be held responsible for committing crimes against hum humanity. Even in the years following the retirement from services, he said. Well, <clears throat> that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that the, the hunger protest opens a presidential door in 2027 for article. Well, it's a question that we want all of you guys to answer in the in comment section it's widely open yes the, the hunger protest opens door for opens the presidential door in 2027 for article book because article may see this hunger protest as a chance for him to pick up another presidential ticket in 2027 and run for president but do, do, do we really think that if article pick up another president presidential ticket in 2027 he would win let's not forget that he will have major opposition people um, parties like the labor party bringing peter will be up and tinibu want to uh, recontest again Yes, and um, we all know Nigerians may not vote for the APC because of this bad governance that are already um, showing us right now. Nigeria wants a, 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 a Nigeria want to change in line. Yes, yeah, so at, does Atiku think that he would win the 2027 election because of this embar governance protest? We all know that Atiku supported the protest. Then people that you have the right, you have the right to protest, you have the right to protest. But concerning this um, political scientist, he said that no, Atiku did not, will not win the 2027 presidential election, that no doors were open for Atiku. Yes, this political scientist said it. That is just our own point of view. What is your own point of view concerning this whole matter? Drop your comment in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to be great one with the notification bell so that anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.